What's up Power Painters, Taylor Payton here, and today I'm going to be talking about how you can form the drawing habit. Now it's important to form the drawing habit because you want to improve as an artist, but more importantly, drawing is just fun. So the real treat I'm going to be giving you here is that you should psychologically prime yourself. In other words, get it into your mind that the treat is in the doing of the thing. If you can successfully anchor a ton of pleasure and good feelings and just awesome vibes to drawing, I wouldn't need to make the rest of the video. But since I know many people, including myself, have struggled with forming the drawing habit in the past, I want to give you some tips that have worked really well for me. Now I've picked up these tips from books, other artists, and just a lot of life experience regarding, you know, my love affair with drawing. So first and foremost, I want to introduce a concept to you. Now you may already be vaguely familiar with this concept, but basically it's that human beings and many other creatures that we would consider living are neurologically programmed to move toward pleasure and away from pain. Which is why in the beginning I said just make it as simple as the drawing itself is the treat, the drawing is the goodie. Just doing the act on a moment to moment basis is what you should be striving for. There shouldn't be this crazy ambition to improve that is going to be too passionate uh, where you're going to have a lot of ups and downs and highs and lows because obviously during the ups you're going to want to move toward it and during the lows you're going to want to move away. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about some of the tips. Number one. The most important is to always be thinking about drawing. And I don't mean always as in you gotta get obsessive or go over the edge with it. Just focus on drawing a lot. Think of how pleasurable it would be to draw. Think of how much fun it would be to take a pencil and put it onto the paper. And the more that you think about drawing, the longer you roll it around in your mind, it's only a matter of time before you pick up a pencil or you pick up your stylus and open your favorite art program or your sketchbook and begin to make it happen. This creates what I like to call the hunger. Now, hunger happens when there is a deficit of food in your body. And if you're always thinking about drawing and your body is not doing it, you're going to be triggering a similar response wherein there's going to be a deficit of drawing and your body is going to want to perform that act. Tip number two, is to draw right before you go to bed and draw right when you wake up. I don't mean the absolute last and first thing necessarily, but pretty close. So let's say brushing your teeth is the last thing you do before you go to bed. Before you brush your teeth, just take 15 minutes to unwind with your sketchbook or in Photoshop or whatever. Just open up a little reference or something and just doodle. Uh, get your brain and your mind neurologically programmed before you go to bed. Also, your subconscious is going to inculcate drawing deeper into your mind as you sleep because you did it right before you went to bed. There are a couple reasons for this that involve different brainwave states and frequencies as well as the REM sleep cycle and how the mind sorts itself out during the sleep state, but you really don't need to know as much about all of that. Just take a minimum of 15 minutes before you go to bed to do a little drawing and you'll see exactly what I mean. Likewise, when you wake up, after you do you know, your little morning rituals, whatever those may be, I would highly suggest you spend another 15 minutes drawing again. Just make sure that you are bookending your day with drawing and starting your day with drawing. This is really important because of the way that the mind once again operates. We typically remember the beginning and the end of things more strongly than we do everything in the middle. And when you have the beginning of something and the end of something, the middle begins to form itself. You have a loop there. And what is a habit really? It's something that comes in cycles. And cycles usually come in the form of either like the infinity sign or a circle. So we're thinking a little in geometry now, if you will. I mean, this is just arbitrary ways of parsing what I'm trying to teach you, which is to form the drawing habit. Next, let's talk about your sketchbook. If you don't have one, you should really have one. In fact, you should have several. They're not really expensive, and you don't need the most perfect, beautiful, super duper, ultra, mega sketchbook. Now you can get one of those if you want, but really just carrying one or two around with you, which means having a bag or a backpack of some sort, and a little case for your pencils, this is really important because as you go throughout the day, you will find opportunities. This could be your lunch break, it could be when you have 15 minutes waiting for a friend, Trust me when I say the opportunities to draw will present themselves if you make it as easy as possible for you to draw. Just avail yourself of a sketchbook and a pencil and you are good to go throughout the day. So now we pretty much come full circle. 
We're thinking about drawing all the time. We draw at the beginning of the day, we draw in the middle of the day, and we draw at the end of the day. Now, these don't have to be for crazy amounts of time. You don't have to sit there for two hours in this stiffened up position, just like wrecking your tendons. Just start with 15 focused minutes and it will grow from there. Thank you for watching this Power Painters video. Don't forget to go to powerpainters.org and sign up for the mailing list for two free tutorials. Here's a little preview of both of those. You receive one when you sign up and one about three days after you sign up because the mail goes out automatically. And you'll receive updates when I make more videos like this or post new articles or just, just Power Painters news in general. Thanks again for watching. Happy drawing, happy painting, and keep hustling. Take care, Power Painter.